Check this out. Look at this clip. It's an actor called Jane Fonda, right? It's an American actor. Let's hear what she has to say about people that believe like pro-life. You know what I'm saying? Check it out. We have experienced many decades now of having agency over our body, of being able to determine when and how many children to have. We know what that feels like. We know what that's done for our lives. We're not going back. I don't care what the laws are. We're not going back. Yeah. I think the women will rise up. That's the activist. That's Jane speaking. Yeah. And, 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 and she probably will get a Nobel Prize. But it's very, the truth. Very, very soon. It, it is the truth. But we're I, not going to do it. Besides, besides marching and, and protesting, what else do you suggest? Well, well it doesn't happen murder. overnight. It's not a miraculous... <laughs> What did you say? <laughs> Murder. <laughs> Tell me y'all thoughts about this, right? Let's let's see what the Bible got to say about this. Jeremiah 32, 35, it says, And they built the high places of Baal, which are in the valley of the son of Hinnom, to cause their sons and daughters to pass through the fire to Molech, which I did not command them, nor did, I, did it come to my mind that they should do this abomination. It caused Judah to sin. So as we read in the Bible, this is something that God frowns upon. So Molech was um, a God that the Assyrians used to worship, right? And they used to like sacrifice their kids to, uh, to this God. And anytime you see abortions, it's the same thing. Like we, we see with a natural eye and we see like, hey, this person just don't want their child. Well, what's really going on, it's like the Bible in Ecclesiastes says that nothing new is under the sun. And this is what we're seeing now, you know? It's just, we got more technology so it don't look the same, you know? God made these people. So who are we to say, hey, this person should or shouldn't live? We don't have the right to kill a child. You know what I'm saying? We don't have that right. You know what I'm saying? So it's not like, hey, uh, we're being judgmental, bro. This is God. If you got a problem with this, you got to talk to God about this. But this is ridiculous. Like, how can you say that we're supposed to love each other and all of this? When you hear about Christians, you say, oh, the first thing people like to say is, oh, Christians are not supposed to judge. Christians are supposed to love. But you mean to tell me that it's okay for you to murder somebody that just because they believe in saving the life of an innocent child? Like, really? Make it make sense.